Hello everyone. Um, after searching YouTube for um, custom slip covers and stuff for uh, for Blu-rays, I really didn't find much uh, unless you have like an elaborate uh, setup or a PC or something like this. I just wanted to share with you guys a uh, inexpensive way uh, to make your own slip covers. And let me start by saying that um, I have. Here, let's take this as an example. I have the uh, Hannibal, and if you can see it, uh, I'm sorry, guys. This is my first uh, YouTube video ever, and I'm a little bit nervous. Um, so I have the Hannibal series here, and I have it in a protector case that I got from uh, my good friend Dan Godkin at Retro Protection. Go ahead and look him up, Dan. Shout out to you, buddy. And uh, he's got all kinds of uh, protector cases and bags um, for DVDs and DVD with slipcovers and Blu-rays and Blu-rays with slipcovers and such. And go ahead and check him out. Uh, look him up, uh, Dan, RetroProtection.com. You could go ahead and email him also and uh, just send him, tell him I sent you. No, I don't get any money in return. I'm just giving him a uh, uh, some publicity here. And uh, so anyway, I have all my DVDs pretty much and Blu-rays in these uh, protector cases. Um, here, let me show you. Let's open one up. I have this one here. Uh, they're pretty pretty simple to uh, to open, and then we'll get back to it uh, for the slip cover. Uh, these are uh, the boxes, and uh, let's see here. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Sorry, guys. Please bear with me. And out comes the. Uh... Oop! There goes that idea. Dropped it. Okay. And it's in. A... It's pretty sturdy uh, plastic. I don't know if you can. Pretty sturdy plastic. Okay, and it holds it inside. There's my case, and I have added some uh, extra bubble wrap inside to protect all of them. That goes for all of my uh, DVDs and and Blu-rays. That's just how I do it, guys. I just protect them. And then uh, let's go ahead and put it back in the case. Okay. I'm working on my dining room table here, so. And I see a fruit bowl and stuff in the back. So there we go. Put it back in the case. Okay. Close it up. And they seal pretty good. They got these little tabs. Okay. I don't know if you can see the little tabs that they lock. They lock in place. There's the other side. They got those tabs on the top and on the bottom. So anyway, back to the uh, topic. Uh, I was looking for some uh, for some uh, slip covers for my Blu-rays and didn't find much. And uh, so I just thought I'd do my own, or at least you know take a crack at it. It's pretty inexpensive for those guys that are in my position, uh, you know that. Uh, are looking for the slip covers and really can't find any and you want to make your own you know I gotta tell you these are not professional these are not you know custom made well custom made because you made it yourself and you know you you picked the picture that you wanted so if you want to call it custom made then I guess you can um, this is the kind of paper that I was using let's bring it over here I was using this the uh, Georgia Pacific premium cardstock paper it's 110 weight and uh, 92 brightness um, that's what I was using and uh, so I mean you can use any other brand if you like that's just what I happened to just get so I went on ahead and for my um, season two of the boss there's a better picture of it okay there's the uh, Trying to do this one-handed, guys. Sorry about that. Just wanted to share this with you guys. So there's the the case on the bottom, and again, it's inside the uh, the protector uh, uh, box. 
Okay, it's inside the case. It has no slip cover. Season two, for some reason, did not come with a slip cover. Okay, there it is right there. And I just Googled an image. Okay, I Googled an image. And uh, these are two images, actually. Um, and I just went on ahead and printed it out. I have a PhotoSmart printer, HP 6500 series. It's not top of the line or anything. It's just a regular photo printer. And I put that uh, cardstock paper in it. And uh, out this came. Uh, I measured it around the uh, the the uh, the the casing here, the the protector case, and uh, cut it to size. And I made my own. I mean, you know, it's it's not. You know, it's 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 a little sturdy because it's cardstock paper, and uh, it just seemed to work for me. Um, I'm pretty uh, pleased with the results. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, put this back in. Sorry, guys, it's, I'm a little nervous. It's my first uh, YouTube video ever, and I just just wanted to share with you guys because uh, I'm a little. I'm a little proud, you know, because I, I, I this one's another one for my Hannibal series. Here's uh, season three of uh, Hannibal, again in a protector case. Okay, it had no, uh, it had no uh, uh, slip cover to it, so I measured around, and you know, picked the image that I wanted. This is, I believe, uh, season two. Uh, yeah, season two. That's the original, and that's that's the slip cover. I mean, it fits pretty good. That's two images. That's where I glued together, and all I'm using for glue and it seems to be working for me is just a a simple Elmer's washable school glue. <laughs> I mean, that's all I'm using. Nothing elaborate, guys. Nothing out of this world just wanted to share with you guys uh the only thing that i have right now my only issue is that yeah even though it's a uh, 92 percent bright it's not it's not glossy uh it's it's a uh, matte on the matte side and i just wanted to make it a little bit more glossy so if anybody out there uh, knows what i can apply a spray of some kind or anything to make the uh, paper a little bit more glossy I would really appreciate it. I know I'm going to get hammered by maybe the quality of the video or my hand shaking and everything. So I hope you guys don't drill me too bad. I just wanted to share this with you guys. I, I just started playing around and just, uh, you know, the idea just popped in my head. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a crack at it. Here's my uh, series of Sons of Anarchy, SOA. I did this one last night. And, you know, I got a little scratch on there, a little scratched. You know, I guess I pulled it out of the uh, the printer too soon and I, uh, you know, didn't let it dry. Uh, and I've got the same image front and back. Uh, I, I just liked it that much because it says the uh, season three and it's got the sun anarchy and got jacks like in a thinking position there. And uh, that's the original cover again. In a protector case, that's just how I go with uh, with all of my uh, DVDs and and Blu-rays and steel books, and that's a slip cover to that one. Uh, I'm not too fond of how season two came out. It's the same thing as the uh, as the DVD uh, uh, art uh, cover. And I just went on ahead and, and did the same, but I like the image that I Googled. This is all Google, guys. And uh, I think I might redo this one. Not too sure. You know, it's a little off uh, on the fold, you see. But, I mean, for doing it yourself, I mean, I don't think it's that bad. I think this is the best one yet, I think. Again, Sons of Anarchy, Season 1. That's the original. Okay, art cover, again, protector case, all of them. All of my Blu-rays and DVDs and steelbooks are in protector cases. Um, and that's the back picture of it. These are two different Im images. 
and where I fold it, there's the fold right there. See, it's coming apart. I mean, you know, uh, I'm just using regular glue. Um, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go ahead and use the crazy glue because I didn't want to make a bigger mess. But you know, all, all I got to do is just re-glue that a little bit. It is, you know, it's not too bad for doing it yourself. Not too bad. And I just finished this one just moments ago before making this video. This is another Hannibal. These pieces are two separate pieces. This is what the image. And I cut this out. Okay. And I just folded it around. I just thought it gave it a, a, a an extra touch. You know what I mean? Uh, you know. And again, just glue. I just glued it. And uh, let's see here. There's my cookie jar right there. Uh, again, protector case. I just measured around. That's the original cover. And uh, that's the back piece. I might redo this one. I, I, I don't like it too much. It's a little off on the corners. Uh, I just let it dry. I, only because I like the front really, you know, a lot. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you guys have any questions, I mean, uh, here's, here's, here's one. Let me show you a... A quick example of how, how I was doing it. I mean, I'm, just in case you were wondering. So, this is the image that I have printed out. Okay? Uh, don't ask me why. I just I just liked it. And I went out ahead and printed it out. It's pretty good quality. Okay? And uh, here's here's my, my case. Okay? So, um, if you can see the crease. Okay? Where I folded. There's the... The case under and I just dropped it where I wanted it because I want to try and show the name and then I just you know crease it around you know uh, I'm doing this one-handed guys so please bear with me um, you know so you can crease around okay crease 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 around um, making sure that you know the top is good crease again on the side so forth and so on and then you're gonna cut the excess see that's the excess paper that I've cut okay um, and uh, you know if you want to add two separate images once you've done with the with the front uh, you turn it over right you turn it over and then you begin like with the with the second one I, I, I printed this one out too there's Hannibal with the horse sticking out. So I'm going to stick this in the back. Right. And uh, again. Uh, you know. Uh, I'm going to cut the borders. The white borders all around. And uh, you know. Try to make it fit. And match to the folds. Okay. Wherever uh, I decide to fold here. Or whatever. You know what I mean. And uh, yeah. It's going to take some time. And you know. It's a trial and error. But, uh, you know, so far, so good, I think. You know, if you guys have any other suggestions uh, how to make this better, I would really appreciate it. Uh, just that I, you know, again, I just take a crack at it and share this with you guys. Whoever's looking for, like, uh, making your own slip covers and whatnot. No, this is not, like, what you buy in the store, you know, the DVD or the Blu-ray with the slip cover. Uh, but... It's working for me so far, you know, just a couple of them that I want to redo just to see if I can make it better. Uh, this, I started fiddling with this one. Uh, this is for my uh, season four of Sons of Anarchy. I've got the entire collection. I've got the entire seasons. Um, again, uh, protector case, okay. Go ahead and check out uh, uh, Dan Godkin, you guys. If you guys are looking to uh, protect your uh, Blu-ray, DVD, or you know any game collection or whatever, he's got all kinds of sizes, and you could even email him and uh, tell him what you got and the measurements, and he'll tell you what he's got uh, close to what you're looking for. So I was, I, I took this one and uh, and I printed out this image only because it's a powerful image at the end of season four, where they show. The picture of Gemma and and uh, Jax's uh, dad, and then with Jax and his old lady, 
Uh, I'm not sure uh, whoever's familiar with uh, Sons of Anarchy, if you guys have seen this, is at the end of season four that uh, this show. So I wanted to do like a front and back cover, but I'm having a little bit of a difficulty. So I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna work this. So I was looking at doing it like that, doing it like that, and then coming with uh, with uh, Jacks and his old lady, like. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, on the on the back, on the front, you see uh, something like that. There's Jax and there's his old lady, and then there's there's Gemma and Jax's dad on the back. Cut the excess or try to fit it. So I'm still playing with that one. I'm still not sure. So there you go, guys. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, if you guys have any questions, uh, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll be uh, happy to hear from you and, and, and let me know how you like this video. I mean, no, it's not going to be for everybody. But uh, I just thought I'd share this with you in case anybody was interested and didn't know how. That maybe that was in the same position that I was in, trying to get some slip covers for my cases. No, I'm not fitting them around the actual uh, uh, Blu-ray. I'm fitting them around the protector cover that I have for the Blu-ray. So, you know, and, and it's coming out pretty good, you know. I mean, they're, they're nice and tight on there. You know, not, not, not loose. I mean, like a regular, like a regular, uh, you know, slip cover, you know. And uh, using cardstock paper. Again, that's what I'm using. Georgia Pacific Premium Cardstock Paper. 92 bright, 110 weight. Um, that's pretty much what I'm using. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm going to see how I can post uh, uh, the, uh, the information. Like I said, this is my first video ever. So please try not to be too hard on me. All right. And uh, I hope that uh, this video works for you guys. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.